I'm Kaylee, and today I'm going to tell you about all the books that I DNF'd in 2019. 2019 was a really good reading year for me. However, there were a few that I did not enjoy, and I just had to give up on them. Before I get into my list of books that I DNF'd, I want to make sure that you know the Books from Kays is a charity that donates books to missionary kids. Today's MK shout-out goes to Lovisa. She's only two years old and she lives in Bulgaria and she loves any books that have bright colors. If you want to donate to Lovisa and children like her, you can do so at GoFundMe.com and please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. So I DNF'd eight books in 2019. Considering that I read over 200 books and I only DNF'd eight of them, that's actually not too bad. The first one that I DNF'd was With Fate Conspire. Part of the reason why I DNF'd it is that I started reading it not realizing that it's the fourth book in a series. So I was pretty lost right from the get-go. But also this book just did not grab my attention. The writing feels really forced and it's unnecessarily verbose. And then there was also some profanity in it, so I DNF'd it after 25 pages and just said, you know what, this is not for me. I also DNF'd The Shallows, What the Internet is Doing to Our Brains. I was really interested in the topic, but this book took so many tangents and these rabbit trails into stuff that barely connected with the main topic. The writing is really pretentious, and I was just really disappointed in how the information was laid out in this book. It's like the writer was just trying too hard to sound super intelligent without actually giving you any good information. I ended up giving this two stars and of course DNF'd it. I DNF'd The Riddle Master of Head. This is a fantasy about a young man who is a minor prince of a very small island, but then he beats a ghost in a riddle game and he wins this ancient crown. I just didn't understand very much about the story. The writing is so disjointed. It's very difficult to follow exactly what's going on. The world building is all over the place. Nothing is explained. The magic system is just really disjointed. It doesn't really make sense. And the author sort of tells the story backwards, like in little spurts. The problem is, if you're building an entirely new fantasy world with its own laws of physics and its own magic and its own political system and its own culture, then you need to explain it. <laughs> it needs to make sense and it needs to flow with the story and not against it. This was just so frustrating to read. I DNF'd it after page 35 and gave it one star. I don't, I don't even know what kind of writing this is. It's just awful. I DNF'd Rutabaga Stories by Carl Sandburg. This one was really disappointing. I, um, you know, have heard so much about Carl Sandburg, of course, and was really looking forward to this fairy tale style, you know, um, stories like basically for children. <sighs> it was just not for me though. There's one line in one of the stories that perfectly describes this book. It says, I hear you talking but it is like a dream talking. This book is like a strange dream world with no structure. There is no character development and no plot, no storyline. There is no tension, no resolution. It's just a lot of random characters that randomly do things. I didn't even think it was that imaginative or original. It was just chaotic. It actually hurt my brain to read it. And I gave it one star and DNF'd it about halfway through. I only read the first few pages of The Red Shift by Alan Garner. Sometimes I like this author's work, but his writing does tend to be ambiguous. He doesn't usually explain what the characters are doing or why they're doing it. The reader is just kind of thrown in the middle of a scene with some random dialogue and you're kind of left to figure it out on your own. But I also read that there are trigger, trigger warnings for this one for um, violence and sexual slavery and all kinds of just um, disfigurement and stuff. So I was like, wow, no, that that's not for me. No, thank you. <laughs> All of the following books are books that I received from the publisher or author in exchange for a free and honest review. I DNF'd Tell the Adventures in the Middle. Tell is at a boarding school being bullied and a mysterious entity comes and makes the bully just disappear. I got about 50 pages in and then just gave up. There are a lot of errors in grammar and punctuation and even spelling. 
It made the story confusing and it really annoyed me. The plot is imaginative as far as I got, but the main character is just not very relatable. I didn't really care about that main character. So I ended up giving this one two stars. I felt like maybe it had some potential if it had a good editor. I read Fervent, A Women's Battle to Serious, Specific, and Strategic Prayer. I really thought that I would enjoy this. I do like, um, you know, books about spiritual things like prayer, but I didn't enjoy this book as much as I thought I would. The author doesn't seem very knowledgeable about theology or the proper way to interpret the Holy Bible. So I lost confidence in their opinion pretty quickly. I wasn't really impressed with the author's writing style either. And the writing uses these fragments of sentences with punctuation just scattered around randomly. I think it's supposed to be more of a conversational writing style, but it just didn't appeal to me. I also DNF'd I Just by L.S. Larson. Well, technically I did kind of skim through to the end because I did just want to see how the ending went. This is a sci-fi about Emmy and her father who live on Earth where a plague is ravaging humanity. And Emmy dreams of attending the elite Aegis school, which is in orbit in space. The cool thing about this book is that it comes with an app, which has all these really neat graphics and like character bios. If you read the book on the app, then you earn coins for each chapter that you read. And then you can use those coins to purchase like little character stickers and different stuff like that. The illustrations are really cool. And I liked the main idea of the story and the basic plot line, but the execution and the writing style, uh, I just ended up really bored with it. The writing is sort of flat and awkward. The characters are one dimensional. I just didn't care about any of the characters. The basic story has potential and the app has some really cool graphics and illustrations, but the story and the writing itself, the characters are just so bland. And those are the books that I DNF'd in 2019. Please leave me a comment down below and let me know what books did you DNF this past year. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and remember the right book in the right hands at the right time can change the world.